Morning, hi all, Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be putting decals on my F350. And I don't mean little things, I don't do things by half. I'm just keeping you updated what I'm doing with my lovely truck and keep myself busy. This is the sort of stuff I do every single day. I just like keeping myself busy. I don't want to sit in front watching Netflix, blah de blah de. So, back of the truck. This is a massive area. No sense in putting one of those tiny little Ford stickers on, would there? Oh yes! That's what you call a decal. Decal. Sticker. Whatever. Big. Also in the back here, you can see that someone cut out this horrible looking shape out of the bed liner. On both sides. Can't take the credit, but I want to. The wife said, why don't you just get two toolboxes and put them back? Little thin ones, 20 quid. Screw them in, don't leave nothing in them. They will steal it, won't they? But, it will look something like that, which I think looks really good. But first, what we have to do is line up this decal on the back of the truck. I apologise about the light, but you can see the white. I'll drag it out when we do it. But anyway, it's going to look something like that. Absolutely massive. So what do we do first? We clean the area. Soapy water, clean it all up. Now, there's two ways of putting decals on. You can either, I said it right then, you can either dry them and then placement. Placement is the hardest thing you've got to do. Don't just whack it on like your pegs and so on. You've got to measure it out, measure the height, measure, measure, do it again and again, and then peel the back and slowly go down with the old squidgy thing. Need one of these or a credit card, they say. Failing that, I use the water technique. So I wet it all, soak it all full of water, pull the back down, push it on, and then slowly go down, pushing the water out. That works every single time for me. I know a lot of people say you don't need to do that, and a lot of this is air tech stuff, so it's got air bubbles and it comes straight out and you can keep picking it up. I'm going on top of already decals on here. This is a wrap on here already. Not the best. It's got a couple of marks under here. There's nothing I can do. If I try and cut them out, you're gonna see it like a pitted bit. If I leave it on there, you're gonna see it like a bubble. Nothing I can do. So it's gonna just go over it. It will hide the majority of them because it's got forward, it's got open bits as well. Should look really nice on here. I'm actually quite excited to do this. Been waiting for these decals for a while. And they come and now I'm really excited. Um, the guy who uh, supplied these, I'll put his, um, in the description who he is um, did be some f350 and some super duty ones weren't up to scratch because I didn't explain what I wanted when I showed him what I wanted with f350 he's done that for me and sending it for me as well so really big thank you for that and uh, we'll be able to see that as well I say link will be in there it's nice when you can talk to people immediately what's at me mark what you fancy that's nice, that's worth its weight in gold. A little bit of weight to posting, and I don't know if that's Hermes messing around, they do do that. But we'll have a look at this and we'll go from there. So for this little bit, masking tape, cut off several little pieces, ruler, pen, tape measure, and the actual decal itself. Measure the size here, here, measure the decal there and there, place it, Write all the figures down, don't just slap it on. It's a lot of technical work to start with, but this will be good step. Because believe you me, if you're two inches over this way from that way, everybody will notice it and go, oh, that. You'll be talking about the wrong thing you don't want to talk about. Do it however you want to. This is how I do it. You want to listen to me? Good choice. <laughs> Placement done. Back and forth and back and forth, it's worked out 6.1 both sides. It's bloody big! Now, I've got a handle here. Uh, he did say to me when I wanted it smaller, I thought, nah, go big, go large, go home. Anyway, I've got to cut this out. So, when we put it on, we're going to miss this middle bit here, and we're going to decide what to do. Now, one extra thing you might want is a nice set of scalpel sort of ones. You can use a Stanley. Scissors, whatever you fancy. However, I'm using these. So we're going to wet this all, flip it up. So it'll be like that. Keep these nice bits on here. I might put a few bits. I don't want this to fall now. It's got to stay where it is. Um, it should look really, really good. So the backing comes off and you've got this paper and the sticker itself. So remember, it's not going to be this. Should look really, really nice. So I'm going to put a few extra bits to make sure it doesn't come off. Pull it down. 
And this is why I wet it, because when you wet it here, you'll get a bit more movement with it. And if you muff up, it will come off easier. If you don't, then it can be a case, and it can stretch as well, and it can stick in place you don't want to. Especially, as I said, this is not paint under here. This is um, decal as it is. No, just a wrap. Right, pull apart, let's get this up, start putting it down, I'll show you halfway through. Okay, but this is the basics of it. Few tools, okay, you can just pay someone, but it'd be a lot of money compared to what I paid for this really good deal, someone doing it for you, a lot of cash, but it's a pucker job, isn't it? Listen to me in my old sayings, pucker. I'm old. Don't worry too much, this could be the backing bit, but that's basically, and then we just take it down, making sure that we keep the water there. This allows you to get it back up again. Otherwise, you can start pulling and ripping and stuff. But basically, yeah, coming along. It's important now this concentrate. Just slowly pull down and keep doing this. And slowly pull down and keep doing this. Make sure all bubbles are out. If this has got bubbles in, I can take them to the top down and push them out again. Don't underestimate how hard this can be. You think it's a flat service, it's not. It wasn't great putting it already on decals that are already on this wrap that all had bumps underneath it. So when I came down, because I had this handle, it threw it all out, but that's the water. You can take it on, off, on, off, on, off. I've had to make several cuts here and here because it also did this, did that, and that. You know, so you've got this curved sort of, apple sort of effect, you're trying to go around bloody hard. Now, this is amazing. This helps so much. On the bends, if you've got a cut, you can blow it over and very, very nicely flattens them down. Don't leave it on too long, it will stretch and knacker it, but it's a job. So in a minute I'll be able to show you. It's not, there's bumps, not bubbles, but there's all bumps underneath it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't love that, you know, and sometimes you think, well, pay the extra 150 pound and get someone to do it for you. But uh, as the truck's already got little bits on it, Sometimes when the water gets under a large area and you can't keep taking up and down, you use a small little scalpel, you slice it and then push the water out. You don't see the little cut. But I've had to say, trim here and here because of where it was. But it's got there anyway. I'll show you in a minute outside. So, that looked pretty crap. Oh, I did, didn't it? And it's a usable box. Lifted it up ever so slightly, um, so you can open it still, and just sort of the rest of the load bed. But damn it, wife was right. Let's look at the back, shall we? <laughs> a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh no, that's a lie. I knew it was going to be hard. I knew it was going to be difficult because of the angle and the fact it wasn't brilliant underneath already. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, that wasn't clever, was it? Well, I know that looks a bit like a cap, doesn't it? Like a baseball cap. Actually, it does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what more better than a Ford baseball cap? Anyway, it is not supposed to be that way. There you go. There are some little bits in it. I had to heat gun a lot out of it. There are some little marks on there. But you know what? I actually think that looks really nice. Why am I kicking your feet? Answer on a postcard. I used to say that years ago, I'm really old. What do you reckon? Cap. <laughs> what do you reckon? Boxes, bit of decals, keep him busy. I had to put some slashes in places and then I've lined them so it doesn't look too bad. It's an old truck. I'm happy. Take care of us on the road. Lots of little videos coming up. Bye bye.